Hi lovely people, how are you? Make sure you leave down in the comment section down below how your day is going. Mine is doing okay. So, if you read from my title, I am I have the Ipsy Glam Plus and then I have the famous boxy charm. So, I want to open it up and see which is better, which do I like better? Which do I think is better this month? Did boxy charm kill it? Did Ipsy Plus kill it? And what is better for you? So before I begin, make sure that you like this video because it really does help me out. Make sure that you are subscribed and put that post notification bell on because this weekend I will have a 30K giveaway going on. It will be three winners, so make sure that that bell is on so you, it, when it goes live, you will know about it. And also when I have when I upload a video. All right, so where do I begin? Which one do I want to go first? Ipsy BoxyCharm. Ipsy Boxy charm. Let's do Ipsy. So what this is, this is the Ipsy Plus. It was called Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, but they stopped doing bags. So now I just say Ipsy Plus. This is $25 a month. So that you have the regular Ipsy, which is $10 a month. That comes in a bag and you get five full, well, you can get full size items, but it's mostly samples or deluxe size samples. Then they upgraded this uh, this year that you get the Ipsy Glam Bag. Well, I gotta stop saying bag. Ipsy Plus, which this is $25 a month, and you get five full size items. So this is all for the May 2019. All right, so let's open her up. When you open it up, it says a Glam Bag Plus. And it says, don't be pretty like them, be pretty like you. It always says that, and I think that's great because you shouldn't want to be like everybody else. Be yourself. So I love that saying. All right, and that's what it looks like when you open her up. So with this, you get like a little pamphlet, and it tells you what everything is, and it does also give you prices, which I like. So that's good because a regular Ipsy bag doesn't give you prices. All right, so let's see. The first thing that we got, what is this? What you be? Is this is from oh Illamask. This is a UK brand, I believe. So these are lip pencils, and there's two of them, which I'm definitely excited to get. I have tried these before. Looking for my um handy dandy knife so I can open it up and try it on and see what it's about. I had like I said, I have tried these before this brand, and I really do like this brand. All right, I'm, I like that you get two of them. All right, so let's see what it says. All right, so the wow, these are $21 a piece. So that's $42 right there for, for this right here. So remember, the box is only $25. All right, these are Lip Color and Pencils Duo in Lust and Media. All right, so which one is this? So this is Media right there. All right, let's open her up. get it out all right so that's what it looks like this is like a pinkish color and you do have to sharpen these I don't mind sharpen it actually it's better sanitary when you do um, sharpen it so all right so that's what it looks like right there and let me do the other one and see which one I want to put on what I think will go better all right this was which what was this lust know if I would pay $21 though for a lip pencil. All right, and this is like a deeper color, like a mauve color. Let's see. All right. And that is right there. So I'm going to use this. Let me use my little mirror and see. Just go around a little bit. You really can't tell a difference. It is like hard, you know, but it does feel creamy once you work into it. Do you guys remember back in the day, like in the 90s, and um, that they would come real hard and you had to take a lighter and make it soft or to deepen it up or if you had a curling iron you just like put it on the curling iron now they are definitely a lot creamier but I do like these and I am definitely glad and I'm I, I'm really glad that you get two of them so thank you Ipsy all right what else we got all right so this is the uh ill macarage right there all right this is a mascara so this is $25 this is 
Icon High Volume and Intense Curl Mascara. So let me tell you a little story about this. I had got PR from this company. I had $300 worth of makeup that they sent me. And my son, my 14-year-old, <laughs> I always put like if I'm going through like my room my beauty room and like you know I get so many subscription boxes so like I put a lot of like cardboard and everything when it's trash night um, you know like by the door well I had got that box from the PO box and I put it right by the door and I didn't even look in it and I forgot it was trash night and all of a sudden I didn't notice and a couple days later I said okay well let me get into it because I wanted to make a video and I'm like where's my box where's my box I'm freaking out and my son was like oh the box that was there I was like yeah he goes oh I threw it out I'm like what do you mean you throw it out trash had already came so $300 worth of makeup was gone so what's so funny so now I get to try this and because one of their eyeshadow palettes is it's $119 I mean they're pretty pricey all right so there we go I've heard good things and bad things. Oh, no. All right. So let's see what the wand looks like because I'm very curious to try. All right. So it's just a regular wand. Oh, it's getting blurry. There we go. All right. So let's see. I already have mascara on, but let's see. I don't know. I have that Benefit Big Bow Gang or Gang Gal. I always mess up the name. And um, and that's like stiff, so it won't even let me try um, to put this on. So let's see. This feels like dry though. Like it's really dry. Like it's very dry. I don't even really see just a little bit's on here. So you see a little bit, but there's really not much on here. Let's see. I don't know. I'm going to try this when I have no mascara on, and then I'll let you guys know because that wouldn't be fair. But it's very dry. All right, what else we got? Then we have this uh, Tokyo Milk right there. All right, let's see how much this is. All right, so this is $21. This is a lip gloss, and I love lip glosses. Even like over my matte lipstick, I'll put a lip gloss on because I just don't like that matte feeling, the dry feeling. Oh, this is pretty, actually. Look at that. Let's see. Let's do a little swatch. It's like clear with a little pinky color right there. I don't know if you guys can even say. Let me try this puppy. I have gloss already on. Oh, I like this too. It's not sticky. I used to hate gloss because back in the day, they were sticky where if your hair got, you know, if you were in the wind or whatever, my God, if you got one piece of hair there, it was like bothering you, you know? But... This is pretty good, too. I actually really like this, too. All right. What else we got? Two more things. So we got a face hero. This is a powerful and protective face oil. So let's see. So this is $34. Let's see. So this is multitasking, good for you cocktail of natural ingredients comes to the rescue by hydrating parched skin, brightening dull complexions, and soothing inflammation. It also helps combat fine lines, dark spots, and early signs of aging. And no worries about residue. Here's looking at you, you oily and combination complexions. Your skin will soak it up. All right, I'm going to let you see what the bottle looks like, but I'm not going to use it because, do I have it around? Um, let me show you what I am testing out. I'm going to test out for a month. I've only literally just tried this. It's been a few days. I got everything from the Good Model Molecules collection from Beautylish, and I'm trying everything in there for a month, and then I'll do a video. So I don't want to mess up any kind of skincare. So I won't try this until after that's done, but this is nice. This is like a glass bottle. So it's a face oil. So that's good. I have combination skin. So I am dry but oily in my T-zone. But I notice as I'm getting older, I'm getting dry underneath my eyes. So before I put any makeup on, I always just put a tiniest oil serum right under my eyes so it doesn't look so dry when I use foundation. All right, so that's $34. And last but not least is a palette. We seem to always get some type of palette. So this is Wondrous by Wonder Beauty. And this is $25. So I mean, definitely get your value there. So this is more like if you want skincare, makeup, um, you know, 
if they have like tools you know you get brushes and for $25 like I said it's definitely worth it all right so it comes with a mirror and has a little these things all right so let me show you it's cardboard and, ooh, and I like the fact I just put my finger in it I like the fact that you can bend it back so I already have makeup on but let's do a couple swap let's do swatches so we have right here is champagne harbor sea salt and golden beef uh, on the top and they are all like shimmers let's see they're very very pretty the pink isn't that pigmented but let's see all right so there are the first three that's pretty yeah that pink let's see if it if you can build it up because I don't mind stuff I rather have stuff that's buildable um, than too pigmented all right so there are the first three colors if you can see right there all right, and then the last, so we have, so it looks like there's only one matte, which is Sand Dollar. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, this seafoam green is pretty, but it's not that pigmented. And then we have Coastal, which is a blue. So let's see. Oh, I don't know what I think about that palette. Look at that blue. Um, let's see, let's build it up a little bit and see. And I really like Wonder Beauty products, but just because these swatches um, are bad, um, it doesn't mean anything because on the skin, like when you try them on, it could be totally different. I had had eyeshadow palettes that swatched amazing and I put it on and it was like so patchy. And then I also had ones that didn't swatch too good, but turned out really good. And these swatches aren't bad. I mean, and how much did I say? It was $25. They really did not swatch too bad. So I'm definitely excited to play around with that. I don't tend to like palettes that only have one matte, me personally. Um, and it could be a transition shade depending on on like what complexion you are you know if you're deeper complexion that's not going to be a transition shade for you but um i wish if it was i wish it was a darker color for me so i can deepen up the outer corner but or i wish it was an all shimmer palette you know instead of just putting one matte in but that's just me being picky but i'm definitely excited to get an eyeshadow palette in the subscription box so let's recap what we get for 25 dollars. so we get this palette which i'm definitely excited to get we get this face oil which i love i love getting skincare what else we got we got this really pretty pretty um lip gloss so i'm definitely excited for that we got a mascara and how much was the mascara 25 dollars, i think so that's good and then we got two lip liners so i think that's great at the end of the video i'll put down below how much everything came to so that's good so like i said that is 25 dollars and then we have BoxyCharm. So BoxyCharm is $21 a month. So it's a few dollars cheaper. You do pay for tax for both of these. At least I do in the state of New Jersey. And um, you, again, are supposed to get five full-size items. But sometimes I notice you get like a four full-size and a deluxe-size item. Um, they did have recently had you fill out a profile, which only, I don't think they went by a profile yet. But, um, you know, they're just starting out with that. So BoxyCharm has been around for, what, five years or something like that? All right, so, and then every three months, you can upgrade to the Boxy Lux, which I do get. So let's see what's in this puppy. All right, so I got Variation 2 right there, if you guys can see that. All right, and this gives you prices as well, which I like, and then gives you a description what everything is. You know, let me, what do I do with that? Let me take this off, these swatches. And let's see. All right, so the first thing we got, which I'm excited about, we got Glam Glow. Now, I did get the Boxy Charm Limited Edition the Skincare uh, box, which I'll leave that video down below if you want to check it out to see what was in there. And we got a Glam Glow product, but we didn't get this one. So this is a daily conditioning cleanser, which I've never, the only thing from Glam Glow that I've ever tried was their mask. So, and I don't know if they really tend to work. It was more for me, like, you know, like more, I don't know, like a, for aesthetics, you know, it's pretty. And this is definitely a decent size. Holy cow. And the colors, 
is gorgeous. How much is this puppy? What you big? So this is $28 and it says gentle but make it bubbly. This daily conditioning gel cleanser gently but effectively cleanses the skin and dissolves makeup. So that is exciting. So you can have your makeup on and put this puppy on to take it off. So I'm definitely excited to try this. And how much is this? So this is five ounces, 150 mils. All right, right there. I mean, this is really a good... So far, everything looks good. All right, then we got this Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow from Ciate. What shade you be? Cupid is my shade. All right, what does this say? All right, uh, this is $22. This is your new Ciate London's Eye Luster. Will help you create long-lasting shimmer and eyeshadow looks. The metallic glittering... Liquid shadow can be swiped on for full coverage luster, blended out for sheer sparkle, or, or applied over any eyeshadow as a topper. Usually that's what I do. I have like an eyeshadow one and then I put like the steel ones and stuff on top. Ooh, that's pretty. It's like a purplish color. Let's do a swatch. Oh, I thought this would be more purpley. It has this is a duochrome. It has gold and green and pink in it and purple. That is gorgeous. I hope you guys can see that. That is so pretty. Can you guys see the shifts in it? So it looks purple there, and then it gold and it has like green. That's gorgeous. I am definitely excited for this. So we'll see if it dries down. That is the key if I really like it, if it dries down. All right. The next thing we got is from Dose of Color. So I have the shade Strawberry Pop right there. And how much is this? $18. All right. I'm going to try this on. Oh, that's pretty. That is so pretty. Let me take the lipstick that I have off now and try this puppy on. I got a dose of colors lipstick in a um, mystery box that I really, really liked. So the formula. All right, let's see. I have a mirror right here. That's pretty. Doesn't quite go with this eye look, but. Um, so you have to definitely, uh, you know, add on to it. And I, I got it all on my teeth. Let's see. You have to build it up, but it's really pretty. I feel like a little grit to it, but all right. And it's not an, an even coat whatsoever, but we're just going to see what the formula feels like. All right, so I'm definitely excited. I should have used the eyeliner from, not the eyeliner, lip liner from the Ipsy Plus. All right, moving on. So two more things. So then we got, we got, what is this? What you be? From Mellow Cosmetics. Oh, this is a brow definer in the shade Chocolates. I don't know if that will be my color. I can feel this drying down. All right, what does this say? So this is $18. It says, this non-greasy, easy glide formula in your new Mellow Cosmetics Brow Definer Brow Pencil is about to revolutionize your brow game. This triangular tip makes it easy, hair-like strokes and long-lasting formula ensures your brows won't budge. Well, this is my favorite right here, the NYX. I use this every day, and this is what this looks like. This is what I like, if you guys can see. So it's not really a triangle, but um, I really like, this is my favorite. Like, I like these better than the higher end. All right, so let's open her up and say, I don't know if this will be my shade. Usually I'm like a charcoal. I'm like a, like a grayish color, like a black gray. And maybe that ain't my color. I just like it. Let's see if I can get this puppy open. Come on in. I don't even know if I can get it open. Let's see, yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay. Oh my God, come on. Okay. All right, so. All right, so we got a nice spoolie. It's soft, let's see. All right. I don't like it when they're ver real soft, but this is okay. I like more like dense, like a little harder. All right, so. All right, so this is definitely a triangle. 
I don't never tried that. All right, let's do a little swatch. This oh, okay. This might be um, my shade right there. Let me say. Let's see. Hmm. It's okay. I think I would definitely use this. It feels a little waxy, but it's all right. I would definitely use this like if I ran out of my NYX because I just haven't found anything that is better than my NYX and for the price. Let me know in the comments down below, like what is your favorite eyebrow pencil or what do you use for eyebrows? Do you use pomade? What do you use? I am curious because that is one thing I haven't mastered yet, my eyebrows. I'm really not good at it. All right, and last but not least, we got from LMR Cosmetics. And what shade did I get? So this is Fair Light. Oh, let's see. I like darker um, colors, so let's see. Oh, that's light. All right, so it comes with a mirror, and I love this. She has Gabby, who is with BoxyCharm, has two eyeshadow palettes already. One we got in our BoxyCharm, which I really like, and then she came out with another one, which I might go and get because I do like the formula, and now I know she has lipsticks, and these are the blushes. So they look shimmery. That's what I was looking at, and I don't go for shimmery blushes. So let's swatch because I can use these as eyeshadows. Yeah, they're very, very light for my liking and for my skin because I, I, I tend to like darker color um, blushes. So let's see. Oh, but they are pretty. Oh, my God. They are really pretty. And actually, it doesn't look that shimmery that I'm swatching it. It just, I actually kind of like it. Let's see if it's buildable. And it feels so buttery. So let's see. So it is buildable. So as you build it up, it can get darker. I don't know if I will use this as a blush. I'll have to practice. Oh, well, not practice, but try it out and see. But like I said, if not, I'll definitely use these as like transition colors or whatever because it's really, really pretty. And did I say the price of that? How much is that? $22. So guys, I think both boxes this month were really, really good. Um... If I had to pick which one I like better, I like Ipsy Glam Plus better. I think every month they nail it out of the ballpark. I really like it. BoxyCharm has its hits and misses, but this month is really, really good. This is probably one of the best boxes all year, in my opinion. So let me know what you think. I mean, if I had to go by which one that I liked this month, though, if I'm talking about just this month, Probably BoxyCharm. I think BoxyCharm for me, um, because you have the dose of colors, you have the Glam Glow. I love the LMR Cosmetics brand. I love, okay, let's say, it, okay, this is dry down. This is, and it's not going nowhere, guys. Yeah. Look, I, and I'm going very, very hard on that. You guys can hear it. So it's really, really nice. So that's everything, guys. Let me know what you think. Which did you like better this month? Did you like the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus? Did you, I keep saying bag, the Ipsy Plus? Or did you like BoxyCharm? Let me know what you like better. Like I said, in my opinion, as far as the company, I like the Ipsy better. But this month was BoxyCharm. So let me know all the tea. What do you think? That's everything, guys. Please like this video because it does really help me out. Make sure that you subscribe and make sure you put that post notification bell on. And that's everything, guys. As always, I leave videos right here. And don't forget to let me know how your day is going. All right, guys. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye.